Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I'm going to discuss one of the scenario based interview question. Let's say we have to read one of the CSV file in our Spark application. So for that requirement, I have given three different approaches. In the first approach, I'm not specifying any option. Simply we are reading spark.read.format CSV, then load, I'm giving the path. And in the second approach, I'm, I'm specifying the option in for schema true. And the third option, I'm specifying the schema externally. You know, we have defined the schema in the previous step and we are specifying that schema while reading the CSV file. So how many jobs would be created in each of these approach? And what is the reason, what is the logic behind those many number of jobs? So the answer is the first method will create only one job and the second method will create two jobs and the third method will create zero jobs. And what is the reason behind this? The as per Spark definition, Spark engine will create a job whenever it has to touch the data, touch the data which is residing in a file. So in the first method, when we have to read the CSV file, Spark engine needs to know the number of columns in order to define the data frame. So for that purpose, it will just scan the file and it'll it'll take it will fetch only one record out of that and it will calculate the number of columns so that's the reason you know in this step it has to it has to touch the data file only once in order to get the number of columns so it will create one job coming to the second method we are specifying infer schema also so in this method you know first it has to decide the number of columns for the data frame so for that it will scan the file only once and it will uh, fetch only one record out of that and it will calculate the number of columns. That is one job. Once that is done, it has to perform infer schema, which means you now it has to get the uh, data type for each of the column. So for that purpose, it will scan the entire data once again and it will get the data type. It will infer the schema. So for that reason, it will touch the data file second time. So it will create two different jobs. And the third method, we are explicitly specifying the schema. So from the schema, the Spark engine can get the number of columns along with its data type. So that's the reason there is no necessity for this method to, to scan the data until some action is called. So this particular method will create zero jobs. I hope you understood. Let me explain uh, through Databricks environment through execution. Let's start the demo. I have logged into Databricks uh, environment and I have created one notebook for this demo. So in the first approach, I am creating a data frame df underscore no underscore option. So in this option, in this approach, I am not specifying any option. Simply we are reading one, one of the CSV file from a location. So let me execute this one. Here we can see, you know, one Spark jobs got created. That's the reason within the bracket, we can see number one, which means one job got created. And let me click on expand this one. Here we can see, you know, one job, the job ID is zero. You now it has created one job in this method. And I can see the Spark UA also. Let me get into SQL. Here, this is the command. Let me execute this one. Let me click on this one. Then here we can see, you know, what happened for this operation. So here it has uh, scanned the text and out of that, now it has filtered only one row. Now out of that file, it has fetched only one row. And what is the reason it has fetched only one row? Because it has to calculate the number of columns. That's the reason it has fetched only one row. Then finally it applied collect so that it can get the number of columns. So let us uh, see the explain plan also for this particular operation. Here we can see it is scanning the text. Then it is applying filter in order to get only one record. Then, then finally it is applying collect limit. It is getting only one record. So this is uh, simple. Let me go to stages, sorry, jobs. Here we can see, you know, there is only one job created. Only one job got completed. Completed jobs one. So let us get into the second method. In the second method, I am specifying this option in for schema true. Let me execute this one. In this method, you can see, you know, there are two jobs created after the execution. Let me click on, let me expand this one. Here, you know, there are two jobs. 
okay job id 1 and job id 2 there are two jobs created and in the third method i'm going to define the schema manually so let me execute this step here i have mentioned the list of columns along with its data type and i'm going to supply this schema while reading the csv file let me execute this step here we can see there are no jobs created so in the first step one job got created here you can see in the second method there are two jobs got created and in the third method no jobs got created i hope you understood the concept i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and comment please subscribe this channel don't forget to click on the bell button thank you